you know, Kelly, I've been having an awful lot of bother in my chair since the last winter back. I feel you have bronchitis, haven't you, Mary? So, uh, sometimes, mm. you know, when I go home here at night, I can hardly breathe. Do you know, only I need my couple of shots. I would give us a whole lot in the morning, so, so would I. Sometimes I'd love to lay in bed and say, oh, I couldn't be annoyed, can I? Because you get that all tired. Well, what's wrong with you, really? What do you need to lay ladder up your chest, lady? You'd have nothing to complain about. Do you not think I had enough of my lads? It was a week in the Bahamas. I want not a bloody old lad. Oh, you have queerly changed your tune. There was a time you'd have given anything for an old lad to rub your chest. I know, but here, last night I wasn't a kick of the arse off the Bahamas. One number done me out of the 500. And oh, you know who you want it? Don't know Lady McInerney, Jesus Christ, I was raging. That old dog all the money. That's right, she got it, so she did. Just oh. think what I could have done with that money. Good God, it just shows you. The days in the Bahamas and I'd have been flying. Drink, food, men, flying and all that. Shut up, so mud, and give you the steam of her piss. I know, and I was sitting there sweating. I was raging. 500 pounds in the Bahamas. Oh, oh, Mary, knowing you, it would last you two days. Don't let me distract you from your work, Mrs. Nolan. Could I have a word with you, Kathleen? I gather the young lady from London was delivered to you safely by Father Doherty. Yes, sister, uh, they were already round and uh, I yeah, had made a few films for Roisin going through the flats. Well, I'm sure she'll be a credit to the school knowing you, Kathleen. Thank you, sister. I don't think there's anybody else they require now. Your sister, my Michelle, could do it. Indeed, Mrs. Nolan. If we ever saw Michelle, I'm sure she could. Good afternoon to you, Kathleen. Mrs. Nolan. Mm -hmm. 